Boom. Right cross, and that's all he wrote. You're gonna knock out Coop? Speed, my friend. No, they're not speed. Quicks. Two rounds tops. I'll tell you what. You knock out Coop in two rounds, beers are on me for a month. You in on this? Coop's a southpaw. So? You ever fight a southpaw? Burger rare, fries crispy, guys. That man is the bladder of a fruit fly. Now, beer says it's not his bladder that's aching. No, Adam. Come on, no one cares. I do. <sighs> I got a husband. Damn it. Didn't bother you last week. I made a mistake. So what does that mean? You figure it out. Hey. I got a gun. I'll use it. He's not going to catch me. Catch you? Yeah, one punch Come and you're on. down. Jab, jab, cross, uppercut. And if Coop hits back, bob and weave. Bob and weave. Black and blue. Black and blue. Shots boy, I'm in with snare. Rush the bus, 40, darn 11. Give her room, damn it. Back up, give her room. Hang on, Alice. Alice Cushman, she works at 3-1. You too, huh? Yeah. I just talked to her. What about? I, uh, I went to take a leak. It was a hello outside the men's room, nothing heavy. Anybody else talk heavy to her in the past? Why? Uh, it just helps to get a fix on who the victim is, that's all. I saw her in the house every morning before call, morning, see the game, stuff about Ricky, stuff like that. Who's Ricky? Her son, 17 months. Real cutie. I, uh, I've seen pictures. Paramedic says she's gonna make it, shoulder through and through. Uh, she's just mostly in shock. Adam Brennan, any fix on the shooter? Uh, maybe I should be asking you that question. You were the first one out of the diner, right? I was inside. You know, Alice has got a husband. Maybe I should call him. Why don't you give us his number? I can get it for you. Great. I think Officer Brennan knows a lot more than he's telling us. What, a little birdie told you that? Uh, you and I have been partnered, what, four years? He knows the exact age of the victim's kid. So? So, forget about how old my daughter is. You even know what state she lives in? Hey, the busboy saw a blue car speed around that corner after the shots. The place had three numbers followed by three letters. The last two were U and V. I don't think the first one was L. The commissioner's talking about a task force. What, over two cops who each have a spouse on the side sweating up the sheets? Lenny's been watching too much, Dr. Field. I don't know who that is, but if he's got a cure for marital infidelity on the job, we ought to put him on retainer. On the other hand, half of the 3-1 ends up at the market diner for coffee. If someone was holding a grudge against Officer Cushman, they'd know to find her there. The witness says the shooter was moving at a pretty good clip. Could have been he wasn't picky as long as you were wearing blue. Well, let's hope to hell Lenny's right. Yeah? OK. They'll be right there. She's awake. Don thinks I should have quit the job after we got married. He thinks a woman's place is making dinner and babies. Tell me I'm wrong now. Well, tell him this was a free thing. It's not like there's anyone out there gunning for me, Don. Actually, we can't confirm or deny. Oh, yeah, all those parking tickets. I knew I should have worn the Kevlar bra. You wear a uniform. There could be some nut out there gunning for all cops. I'm just saying, we got a new baby. Oh, by the way, your pal Adam Brennan sends his best. Just one of the cops. My wife. <laughs> Just one of the boys. She's out partying, and I'm stuck home changing diapers. What, it's my fault no one's hiring? Look, I really didn't see the guy or the car. <clears throat> Look, Doc says I should get some sleep, if you don't mind. You know where to find us. OK, you were right once. OK, you rented a room twice. It's not like it was this hot and heavy kind of thing. Happily married. How happy is your wife? Very. And if it's OK with you, I'd like to keep her that way. That's why I didn't say anything last night. You're a real ace with secrets, huh, Brennan? How happy is Alice's marriage? You think Don? No way. But well, he's not the possessive type. She says he didn't have a clue. And if he did, he'd be taking shots at me, not her. Did Alice get personal with anybody besides you? No way. She's a good girl. We have. Yeah, yeah. 
New York's finest. Hey, he cheats on his wife. You built a new wing on some casino in Atlantic City. I like the liquid refreshment a little too much. We're dogs, every one of us. <laughs> no wonder the public thinks so highly of us. Oh, no, they love us. They have to. When they run away from something, we run toward it. Yeah, agreed. OK, could you do me a favor, get that over to forensics? All right, cool, thanks, man. A BMW was clipped last night around the corner from the scene by a blue car. Could be our shooter. I parked it in front of my house two nights ago. When I got home, I overslept. The next morning, it was gone. Why didn't you report it stolen? Because I thought you guys towed it. And you didn't call parking enforcement to check? I didn't have the money to claim it back until next week's paycheck. It took me an hour and a half on the bus to get here. Did anybody else have access to the car, Miss Thomas? Like who? A kid, for instance? My son's dead. So you did your good deed telling me it was stolen. You can go now. I got work to do. You don't understand, Miss Thomas. Whoever took your car may have tried to shoot a police officer. <laughs> oh, that sure explains it. it. Explains what? How hard would you have looked if it was me reported it stolen? So much for your theory about the public loving us. Well, there's an exception to every rule. Well, hopefully she don't work every night. Hey, how you doing? Uh, can we talk to you about Janet Thomas? Who'd she kill? Now, why would you say that? She's got a temper, that one. Thinks the world owes her? Last night, she screamed at me because I took the last milk in the nurse's lounge. So she was here all night? Until midnight. You don't know the problems that caused. W what do you mean? She don't care for the graveyard shift? Well, just the opposite. Well, they wanted to put her on days, but she raised all kinds of hell. Says she's got to be home when a son gets home from high school. Ursa, she told us her kid died. Looks like she's lying to someone. Why do you suppose she wouldn't tell us she had another kid? I don't know. Let's ask him. Thank you. Back when I was using Clearasil, we didn't have to walk through metal detectors. When you were 18, I doubt you could buy a semi-automatic weapon on every street corner. Wait, you saying Stevie? No, no. He smoked some weed, cut some classes. Nothing out of the ordinary. Unfortunately, that's the truth the times have made me live with. If you wait here, I'll bring him out. All I can say is I'm glad my kid has grown. Mm, I'm glad I'm grown. Look, I don't know what you think I've done. It's not me, Stevie. It's the detectives want a word. Oh. Then I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you I tell me all about it down at the squad. Come on. 